Ladies and gentle ladies, Chaska is here and she's a bull character and animal. So does this mean the return of Venti? I'm kidding. That she's probably <laughs> so much better in so many ways. But it's okay. Look, Chaska is actually a very, very interesting character. If you want to look at the character description right here, uh, we can see that she just pretty much does a lot of damage and she takes elemental types from your party and uses it as her own. And not to mention, if you're, well, flying in Natlin, uh, you get to do a lot of fun stuff. Here we go, boom. Look, look at how much you can fly. <laughs> this, this is kind of ridiculous. This is genuinely ridiculous. I don't think I've seen Genshin Impact in, uh, in this method, actually, at all. So this is a unique experience to the game, and you guys want to pretty much fly. Um, yeah, this is much better than what you would see with Wander. <laughs> that is for sure. Which is kind of unfortunate. Maybe they can buff Wander, make him fly around a little bit more. But it's fine. Because, uh, yeah, this is definitely a uh, cool uh, aspect that, and, and gameplay feature we get to see in the game. And if you get Chaska, you get to do this a lot in Natlan. Obviously, you're not going to do as much in other regions, but you're definitely going to be able to do it here. All right. The cool thing about Jaska is that when you use her elemental skill, you get to use the corresponding elements in your party. If you guys see on the top right corner of the screen right here, you lock onto a character and then you go click, 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 and you do that element's corresponding elemental damage. And when you burst, you do the same thing as well. As long as you have Phlogiston, you get to stay in the state for as long as you want. So characters that help buff you is going to be pretty important. And um, I think the stage does sort of help you with Phlogiston, so you gotta keep that in mind as well. So characters like Bennett or Kazaha or whoever buffs you is actually going to be pretty important here. So it's pretty cool. And you can use Shangling on the bottom if you guys can see. And yeah, I think this, this is definitely a fun character to have look at this it's insane um and she's definitely strong and the amount of potential builds that you guys can do with this is kind of limitless of course her normal charge attacks aren't going to do much if you guys see that but her elemental skill charge attacks go absolutely crazy you guys want to see at what she does you guys can see here uh, if you're on the elemental type, you do a little bit more damage, and it is a maximum of 65%. And then she does a little bit more damage here thanks to the Night to Align Elemental Damage, and then um, a little bit more stuff for the Phlogiston. And she doesn't have a high energy cost for the burst, which is really nice. And then, yeah, you do a lot of damage uh, based on the uh, corresponding elemental type in your party. I think she is an amazing character. This is definitely one of the craziest characters that Genshin has released to the game. And I think it's pretty awesome. It's definitely something that uh, a lot of future characters need to learn from. We need to see a lot more characters that do special stuff like she does. We take a look at the constellations here. So C1. C1 is when you use the uh, elemental skill and then you're in that state and you have the cylinders you get to have another cylinder okay that converts and then a if there are other party members who meet the elemental cut okay and then it increases by 33 percent a full party of cryo without it being kind of upsetting with with this right because what this means is that you need different types of elemental types for it to convert. If you have three different ones, you'll 100% convert. But if you have the same one, you will only get 33%, which is kind of unfortunate, but it still means that you can do crazy stuff with uh, Chaska, which I do like, which I do like. That's pretty good. And then C2, what does C2 do? You obtain one stack and then, oh, from the passive talent. Okay, cool. And then when you hit the opponents, they will deal AOE elemental damage of the corresponding type, which is, oh, 400% of Chaska's attack. Okay, so C2 is definitely big. D4, I think you just get some elemental... Ooh, wait, hold up. You get some elemental energy and deal AOE damage corresponding to the, the equal to 400% of Chaska's attack again. But this is for the burst instead. 
Um, this damage is considered as charge attack damage, which is pretty pretty nice. For the next 3 seconds, Chaska uses Spirit, Range, Shadow, Multi-Target, Fargo. The crit damage of the instance is increased by 110%. Okay. That is definitely interesting. So C1, it helps you do a little bit more of the cylinder conversion stuff, which is pretty interesting. And then C2 allows you to do 400% more damage. And then uh, C4 also does the same thing. C6 allows you to get much more critical damage. Yeah, Chaska, Chaska's big. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye.